that scary movie. <laughs> Don't fuck with the Chuck. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you all have a fantastic day. My name is Andrew, and today on the channel, I am super excited on continuing my Nightmare on Elm Street review series. And today, we're gonna be talking all about a Nightmare on Elm Street Part Four Dream Master. Don't let them put you to sleep. He has no mercy. And no. Evil. Now no one sleeps. Get ready. This August, your wildest dreams will come true. How sweet, fresh meat. A Nightmare on Elm Street Part 4. The Dream which was released in 1988 and was directed by Rennie Harlan. Now, the only other film I have seen by him is Devil's Pass, which I actually didn't realize that was directed by him until I checked it out, checked that out on IMDb, and that movie is fantastic. It is a great found footage film that I highly recommend you guys go seek out. It is so great and so underrated as well, but we are not talking about that film. We are talking all about Nightmare on Elm Street Part 4, Dream Master, and this movie was a absolute blast re-watching. Definitely not perfect. My you but I still enjoyed my time with it it is a definition of popcorn flick that you just sit back enjoy turn your brain off and just get enjoyment out of it now basically this film is a sequel to dream warriors which is a absolute blast but definitely a different tone different action and all that kind of stuff different Freddy compared to dream warriors dream master on the other hand actually I personally really enjoy this film and it's been a couple years since I've watched this film last and I'm definitely happy to finally talk about it here on the channel just to kind of get my overall thoughts and opinions on it as I just finished watching it the credits just rolled and uh, this movie is just so much fun from beginning to end and it sucks that a lot of people hate this movie or just despise this movie or for whatever reason they just don't like it which is definitely a shame if you guys just you know turn your brain off and just sit back and watch this film and, and take it as it is it is just a overall fun treat that is, is definitely going to go down in history as far as being kind of my one of the more rewatches I think that I need to do down the road just because it's so crazy so unique as well it almost feels like a 90s film but just in an 80s era which is crazy to think about um, but basically the whole premise of this one is that is of course it is a direct sequel to Dream Warriors which is by far the better film but this is a direct sequel to that film and basically the whole premise is of course Freddy comes back he is trying to kill the last kids of the Dream Warriors uh, movie and then he kind of brings in the new cast that he is trying to kill off as well he's trying to get the souls of these new characters and man the way that he comes back is so much fun uh, of course it's in the car parking lot where he is bones buried before Kincaid is there uh, it sucks they kind of killed off the cast right out, the, right out of the gate in the first half an hour the original cast kind of gets killed off except for uh, Kirsten who kind of stays a little bit later on she is actually played by Tuesday night and I should just re-listen to the nightmare track that she did uh, for this movie and it is it's so catchy it's so epic and it's so just like absolutely I don't know it's so cheesy as well and it just it it just you know when I want to watch an 80s movie I will definitely put this song on and then watch the movie it just has that 80s feel to it and uh Tuesday Night is definitely a great actor I don't think I've seen her in anything else besides this movie uh but her playing as Kirsten kind of like our first kind of main final girl she kind of plays the first main final girl as they say and you don't and you actually think that she's going to be the kind of end all to be all uh until we meet alice who is played by lisa wilcox and she does a great role like great supporting role until like the midpoint where it switches over to her because tuesday night gets killed uh same with the rest of the dream warriors cast because i guess they had rights issues or something uh they actually switched the cast of kirsten this is the new actor of 
Tuesday night, and she did a fantastic job. A lot of people don't like her, but I personally think she does the role really well. Uh, and she just kind of embodies that 80s, like, stereotypical, like, 80s, like, female teen character, and she just does a great job with it, and I love hearing the soundtrack as well. I love her track in this uh, movie. I think it fits it perfectly, and also it's a track that I tend to revisit every now and then, just because it's it's so catchy, and it's just, like, it kind of gets stuck in your head. Uh, it fits the movie quite well, and I think Tuesday Night is a great addition to the uh, Nightmare on Elm Street franchise. Definitely a character that is super underrated, one that I would love to see kind of make a comeback or cameo or something like that in a future Nightmare on Elm Street film if this were ever to happen, uh, which I don't ever see that happening, but uh, she is a great addition to the cast of characters that we've had thus far, and I, honestly, I really enjoy her character arc. She, you know, goes through some shit uh, from the previous film, of course, as a different actress, uh, but, you know, just for everything that she went through compared to this film, um, you can definitely tell, you know, it was kind of weighing on her and all the, uh, her friends' deaths and all that kind of stuff. Uh, it was just, it was really cool to see that, and also to pull it off like that, especially with the mid-switch of actors and stuff like that, definitely a hard, uh, role to pull off, especially, if, you know, from the previous actress to this new one, so, uh, it was definitely cool to see that, and I think she definitely did a great job, it's definitely kudos to you, because, you know, I absolutely highly enjoyed rewatching this film over the last couple, like, it's been a couple of years, and, uh, with the rest of the new cast that we do have, and it's, it's definitely really cool to see Freddy kind of come back, uh, he's definitely more on the kind of comedic one-liner, like, kind of style, uh, character in this film, but I think it kind of works with this film, because it kind of has, like, a more lighter tone compared to the previous film, uh, definitely he is kind of more playing with his victims, kind of has, like, a Bugs Bunny kind of, you know, cartoony aesthetic and stuff like that, while still having the great practical effects that, you know, we tend to know from his character uh, over the years now. Uh, it's it just, it, it looks really good here, um, and I think that the prosthetics and stuff like that with the soles on his body, uh, which I think that part is the coolest part in the movie, uh, just seeing all the different souls, and he takes them and eats them and stuff like that, and, you know, just the one-liners are just so cheesy. It's 80s cheese at its best but it, it's, it's so much fun just to watch uh just to see him kind of just to see him what he does next and it's just there's no other character like freddy uh with the one artist besides chucky uh he is just the embodiment of 1980s horror goodness that you know i'll hold near dear to my heart just because it's so much fun to watch it kind of puts you in a better mood you know besides being in a horror movie uh it's not really horror on this time around yes there is definitely horror moments but it's definitely more on the kind of like the action comedy almost kind of element where you get a lot of really fun action scenes with you know with the horror in it of course but it's you know kind of on the undertone uh which is always interesting because you know this is a horror franchise at heart but you know it definitely the tones have kind of switched over the past few movies and it's definitely been an interesting ride kind of seeing that kind of evolution and change uh with some of the later movies definitely kind of going the more comedic route this one still has that comedic elements to it but just on a more action kind of level and stuff like that it's really cool to see the change but with that being said i absolutely love the cast here i think everyone does a great job i love alice's boyfriend dan i think he's a great supporting cast i don't like none of these actors i don't think i've seen in any other movie besides dream master which you know might have to change that down the road just because they are definitely great actors now i think the best kill in the movie for sure is debbie's kill but also i like uh what's her name uh i think it's sheila as well uh both of those kills are fantastic fantastic you know just like some of the transformation scenes that they go through and everything uh there's the whole megan scene and stuff like that super cool super unique super 80s and i absolutely just love it it still has that kind of 90s feel just with the characters um especially with the whole karate stuff and like everything like that that was super big in like the early 90s uh i guess also late 80s too but you know what it was like for me personally like we saw it a lot in like the kind of early 90s but uh this film is just over the all overall just just a great ride from beginning to end that I think if you guys are 
in the fan of that kind of just turn your brain off kind of movie definitely put this one on i think you guys will definitely enjoy it so that being said i've been giving a nightmare in elm street part four dream master e easy three and a half stars out of five stars and definitely watch it for the kills because the, some of the kills in this movie are absolutely fantastic the practical effects are so good that some of the cdi stuff is kind of 80s cheese but it works really well with the film i love how freddy kind of comes back to life to bring in more uh people to kill off it's, it works really well with the movie uh and you know what just all of the actors just do a fantastic job and you kind of think that one character is going to be like the main final girl but then it switches to the other to the other one and they just did a great kind of switch and ruin I, I absolutely love it when movies do that and uh, the addition of Tuesday Knight playing Kirsten I think she definitely did a fantastic job on her own right but I absolutely love this movie definitely not one of the better Nightmare on Elm Street films by any means but it definitely is up there as being kind of one of the more rewatchable films in my personal opinion so guys have to comment down below let me know what your guys thoughts and opinions are on a Nightmare on Elm Street part four dream master do you guys love this film do you guys hate this film let me know all your thoughts about this movie in the comments down below but if you all enjoyed remember to like the video subscribe to the channel for more and I'll see you all really soon for the next one later guys